Okay, let's get started. For this project, you will need 1x4 or wider board, cut to length, however you'd like, a piece of trim board, cut to the same length as the board. You'll need a paintbrush and some paint. I'm just using a white paint that I have. You'll also need some construction adhesive or some sort of wood glue. This adhesive is what I have on hand. Then you'll need some hooks and of course the screws that go with them. And then finally you'll need either a brad gun like this and some brads or you could use some sort of finished nail with a hammer. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your board. I'm using a 1x4. Um, you could use any width. I've also made hooks out of a much wider, like a 1x10 is what I prefer to use. But since this is going to be such a small, small space, I used a small board. So I cut this I don't know how long it is. I don't know. It's probably 18 inches long, something like that. The next thing you're going to want to do is cut a piece of molding so that it's the same length as the board. I used my little miter box to cut this, or you could use some sort of saw, whatever you want to use. So then what we're going to need to do is attach the molding to the board. And to do that, it's really quite simple. We're just going to add some adhesive or glue to this side to the back side of the molding we'll stick it onto the board and then we'll use a few brads just to kind of hold it in place so there's the adhesive and then we're just going to put it on making sure it's all nicely lined up And we'll just kind of hold it there for a little bit so it doesn't wiggle around too much. It might wiggle a little bit. So we'll let that set up just a little bit and then we'll use the brad gun to attach a few brads to it. Alright, so I am going to use this, what is it called, latex wood filler and to fill in the holes that I have made and I'm just gonna oh my lord everything I use is like dried up I'm just gonna smear some on and fill in the holes that I've made Okay, so I filled in all the holes. Now I'll just let this dry for, I don't know, half hour or so, and then I can start the painting. So this is what it's looking like so far. Pretty simple. So the wood putty has dried, and so I'm going to take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of go over it, make sure it's not sticking up anywhere, make sure it's nice and smooth. That should be good enough. I'll just wipe it down a little bit. And then it is on to painting. I'm just going to use some basic white paint. And I have it propped up on a piece of board so that my paint doesn't, when it's drying, it doesn't stick to my drop cloth. So I'm just going to start with the edges and work my way around. paint is now dry. I gave it two coats of white paint and now I'm going to take a little piece of sandpaper that I folded in half and I'm going to distress along the edges on this side. I don't know if you can see that or not if it will show up but I already distressed this side 
I'll just quick do this side here also. So I'm just going to run the sandpaper along the edges and that will take off the paint and the raw wood will show underneath because, you know, I have to distress everything. So, there. It looks good. Now that it's all painted and is ready to be hung on the wall, I am going to take a pencil and the hooks and figure out where I want the hooks to be exactly. So, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to eyeball it. I could measure it, but that seems like too much work. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to put a little mark inside each hole so that I know where it will go before I start attaching it. And to attach this, the hooks themselves, I have these little screws, which I hope will work because I cannot find the original screws that came with the hooks. So using these teeny tiny little hooks, like these little teeny tiny little screws, and of course a drill, I'm going to attach the hooks to the board. Very simply. was easy. Alright, so I'll just continue to do the same thing. Okay, so now my hooks are attached. They seem pretty sturdy. Now what we need to do is drill holes to hang this from. So I'll show you how to do that next. So the next thing I need to do is drill some holes in my board to hang the rack with. Because I am not going to be hitting a stud where I want to hang this, I am going to use these drywall studs. They are super awesome if you've never used these before. You can They go into drywall and they grow into wood. So if you think you're not going to hit something, I always use one of these. And even if I know there's a stud there, a lot of times I'll use these anyways. And then, so these go into the wall, and then, of course, the little screw goes into it through the wood. So, the first thing I need to do is to drill some holes. So I need to figure out where I want the holes to go. And to drill the holes, I'm going to use a regular old um, drill bit to start the hole that I want to drill. And then, because I want to countersink this screw into this, I am going to use this little thingy-mabobby. I think it's a countersinker. I don't know what it's called. But it will go and drill a bigger hole so that the, the screw will sit down inside of it and it won't be flush. It will be, un, you know, below it. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Anyways. So that is what I'm going to do. So first thing I need to do is figure out where I want the hole to, where I want to attach it. And I want to attach it higher. Well, maybe I'll just center it. I can't decide what I want to do. All right, I'm going to put it about right here. And then I will mark a spot on the other side as well sort of around the same. I could measure, but you know, you know me. I don't like to measure anything. I like to just eyeball it. So, there you go. I've got my two spots that are ready to be drilled. I'll work with this first, and I'll go all the way through the wood with this, because this will make a pilot hole for the actual screw. And then, I will take this one and go about halfway through the board Alright, so then I just drill a hole. And make sure we go all the way through. 
and then we'll drill a hole on the other side as well. All right. So now I have the two holes drilled, and then right on top of that, I will drill the other hole. And I will center it on the hole that I've already drilled, and I'll drill down, oh, maybe halfway. As you can see here, that the screw will sit down inside there. So let's do it to the other side also. All right, there we go. Now I'm just going to run a little piece of sandpaper across the top and try to get it in those little edges just to kind of take any little bits off that are hanging around. Looks good. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. All right, so I have this teeny tiny little brush and I have a little bit of paint on it and I'm just going to paint the inside of the hole that I've made. And then I'll let that dry just so it's not as noticeable. And you can get like little caps if you don't want the, to see the screw at all. You could buy these little wood caps that pop into these little holes that you drill. But I'm not going to bother with that because it's really just not necessary for what I need. Alright, so now I got the hole painted and you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to give the little screw head a little coat of paint too. Just a little bit so that it, when it's in the hole it'll be white also and you won't see the silver part of it. So that is it. Now it's ready. Once this paint is dried a little bit we are ready to attach to the wall. One little tip before we get before I get going I thought I would show you um, how I'm going to hang this on the wall. Because I'm using this sort of anchor, it is sometimes difficult to figure out where exactly you put the anchor so that your screws are all lined up with the anchors and everything like that, which is kind of difficult sometimes. So to get around that, I pre-drill my hole, my screw into the hole that I've made just enough that it barely pokes out the back side. I hope you can see that. So it barely pokes out the back side so when I go to the wall I can position it on the wall where I want it, make sure it's nice and level and then push it onto the wall very gently and these little the little bit of the screw that's poking out will make a mark in the wall and on that mark I'll center my wall stud and it will be perfectly aligned. <laughs> 